Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're from an extremely populated urban area, you might have noticed brown smoggy mornings during the hot summer days. Have you ever wondered where the smog comes from? The smog that you see is due to nitrogen oxides, which are mostly emitted by automobiles. In order to prevent this, automobiles use something called the exhaust gas recirculation system. And that is our topic for today. Under ideal working conditions, the combustion process releases nitrogen and oxygen atoms individually into the atmosphere. But when the temperature inside the combustion chamber is extremely high, the excess heat favors the formation of harmful nitrogen oxides. In the presence of sunlight, these nitrogen oxides react with hydrocarbons and oxygen in the atmosphere. This results in the formation of photochemical smog and other related environmental hazards. The exhaust gas recirculation system controls the emission of nitrogen oxides, or commonly known as NOx gases, by recirculating a small amount of exhaust gas into the combustion chamber. But how does the recirculation of exhaust into the engine control the NOx emission? Well, when a certain amount of exhaust gas is recirculated into the combustion chamber, it occupies a small amount of volume that has to be occupied by the fuel. As the exhaust gas is burnt already, it will be inert without getting involved in the combustion process. But the presence of exhaust lowers the combustion temperature and prevents the formation of nitrogen oxides. When the engine runs at full load conditions, more power has to be produced. This is possible only when there's a high temperature. Hence, the recirculation of exhaust gas at this condition is not desirable. In this case, the catalytic converter comes into play, but they reduce the emission of NOx only up to a certain extent. If you want to know how a catalytic converter works, we've made a dedicated video on that. The links are in the description below. The main purpose of EGR is to control the emission of NOx that forms because of the high temperature inside the combustion chamber. Hence, the recirculation of exhaust gas is not necessary when the combustion temperature is very less, especially during engine idling. The amount of exhaust gas to be recirculated varies depending on the load and the speed of the engine. In order to control the flow of the exhaust based on the requirements, EGR valves are used. The EGR valves in the older vehicles are vacuum controlled and modern vehicles use an electronic unit to operate the EGR valves. We all know that the temperature of the engine exhaust will always be high. Therefore, the exhaust must be cooled before it reaches the intake manifold. This can be done by using an EGR cooler that has a coolant in it. As the exhaust gas passes through the cooler, it loses its temperature and thus the function of EGR is ensured. In addition to controlling the formation of NOx, EGR system has an additional advantage in certain conditions. When the EGR is active, it lowers the combustion temperature. Reduction in temperature prevents knocking. So guys, uh, that's all about the exhaust gas recirculation system. Wait for more interesting videos in the upcoming days. Until then, bye.